Assalamu alaikum, dear learners. How are you? I hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Today, our discussion topic is conditional sentences. At first, you may have a question. What is a conditional sentence? We use a conditional sentence to express a factual or an imaginary situation as a consequence of another related situation. For examples, if you hit ice, it melts. If you work hard, you'll be successful. So here you can see, we express our factual or imaginary situation on the basis of another related situations. Okay, so if you do something, something happens or something will happen. Conditional sentences are mainly complex sentences. In a conditional sentence, you will find a sentence connector, which is if or unless. And you will get two clauses. One is independent clause, another one is dependent clause. There are four types of conditional sentences. These are zero conditional sentence, first conditional sentence, second conditional sentence, and third conditional sentence. Okay. Zero conditional sentence. We use a zero conditional sentence to talk about a factual situation on the basis of another related situation in the present. The structure of zero conditional sentence is given here. If plus present plus present. That means if you do something in the present time, you will get the result in the present time. For example, if you heat water to 100 degrees Celsius, it boils. If you heat ice, it melts. You can see that two clauses are in present tense. That means you do something in the present time, you will get result in the present time. A first conditional sentence is used to express a future imaginary situation on the basis of another situation which takes place in the present time. The future situation can be real or unreal. The structure of a first conditional sentence is given here. If plus, present plus, future. That means subordinate clause will be in present tense and independent clause will be in future tense. If you do something in the present time, you will get something in future. For example, if you study attentively, you will do well in the exam. If you work hard, you will be successful. So these are the examples of first conditional sentences. In a second conditional sentence, we talk about an imaginary situation which would happen on the basis of another situation in the past. That means if you did something, something would happen. So let's see the structure. Here you can see the subordinate clause will be in past tense and the independent clause will follow the given structure which is subject plus would oblique might oblique could plus base form of the main verb which does not include s yes or yes. For example, if you are late, you would miss an important meeting. Another example is if I had much money, I would help the poor. So, that kind of situations are imaginary, which might happen. We use a third conditional sentence to express a hypothetical or an imaginary situation, which would have happened on the basis of another situation, which had happened in the past. Sometimes we utter that kind of sentences to show our excuse, which may be true 
or may not be true but most of the cases which is unreal okay so let's see the structure here you can see two clauses one is independent clause another is subordinate clause the subordinate clause will be perfect tense but the but the independent clause will follow the given structure which is subject plus would oblique might oblique could plus have plus first participle of main verb okay for examples if you had informed me i would have done something for you another example is if he had been careful he would have saved his life so this sentence are hypothetical or imaginary thank you so much for watching the video allah peace